I want to show you how you can use Copilot with OneDrive in Microsoft 365. What's nice about OneDrive is when you use Copilot, you've got a single user interface to access Copilot with different types of files. So let's take a look at it. We're going to go through these four basic functionalities in Copilot. We're going to summarize files, we'll ask a question in Copilot, we'll create an FAQ, and then we'll compare a number of different files and see what the result is. So I'm in OneDrive, and I've got this file here, how to change a conveyor belt and troubleshoot problems with it. So this is a large document. And I'm not sure exactly what's in there, so I want to get a better idea of what's in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a summary of it. It's easy to do. Just highlight it like it is here. I can go to the Copilot icon here, click on that. And I've got these options. Let's summarize it. So here's the result. Copilot looked at this large document and summarized it. Did a fair amount of detail on it as well. Broke it into sections. You can see those sections here. And then you see individual bullet points for each section. So this is helpful. I don't have to go through the entire document to get a sense of what it is. I can copy this and send it to other coworkers so that they understand this file as well. But let's take another look at it. With the same file, let's ask a question to Copilot. Copilot comes up here on the right hand side. You can see that. And this is the prompt I'm going to use. What are the top five points in this document? Let's send it to Copilot. So this gives me another level of summary. This is actually more summarized, condensed. I can make good use of this. This is another way to use Copilot on these documents. Let's take another approach to this. And I'm going to ask Copilot, what job descriptions is this document geared toward? Let's send it to Copilot. And here's my result right here. Now this is helpful. This helps me get a better idea of how this document might be used in my organization and whom to work with as far as this document. Let's try another approach. I'm going to use Copilot to create an FAQ for this. This is a nice kind of document to have. An FAQ is helpful to let people know what's in the document and how to interact with it. It suggests questions that they might have, and it gives a little bit more meaning to the information in the document than just perusing it casually. And as with any of these results that we've just seen, I can always copy it and then paste it into a Word document or another document if I want to. And finally, I want to show you how you can use OneDrive to compare multiple documents. I've got a number of resumes for people that are applying for a project manager job in my organization. I've got one here. I've got another here, and I've got one right here. So what I can do here is I can select these documents and go to Copilot, and have Copilot analyze these documents. So what it did is it looked at the three resumes, analyzed them, and compared one against the second against the third. You can see the results here. So I can copy that information. I'm going to add a new page and loop and then add a component in that page with information from Copilot. So now I have this information in loop, and this is easy to deal with. I can add additional columns here. I can share it with other people in my organization. I can make notes in this. I can also rank the individuals here. So this is another way to use OneDrive with Copilot to look at multiple documents. And another thing I can do with multiple documents is I can specify the documents and ask a question about those three documents all together. So I've got three resumes here. Let's ask Copilot a question. And I'm going to use this prompt here. I'm going to ask Copilot, whom would be the best hire for a project manager job? So in this response, Copilot gives a summary of each of the applicants. If I scroll down to the bottom, it gives me an analysis of those three applicants, and you can see that here. So if Copilot, in this case, doesn't tell you exactly whom to hire, it's going to give you some additional insight into it. So we looked at how we can use Copilot with OneDrive in Microsoft 365. We looked at how easy it is to summarize files of different types right in OneDrive. You can easily ask a question and create an FAQ to make the document more easy to understand. You can also compare multiple files with OneDrive.
If you're ready to deploy Copilot in Microsoft 365, download our free guide with the link in our video description.